Hi guys and welcome to my LEGO Star Wars 75249 Resistance Y-Wing Starfighter review. I'll start with the box. The box has a picture of a planet up the top and an explosion on something down the bottom, down there. It has the minifigures which are Poe Dameron, Zori Bliss, First Order, Snow Trooper, Astromech Droid and Dio. On the top it shows Zori Bliss in scale. If I can get it to focus. Yep. Right there. And on the back it shows all the functions, like a normal <laughs> set would, which are the bombs which can drop if you spin the gear, spring-loaded shooters, and a rotating turret and landing gear. Now let's see what the set is like. First, I'll start with the minifigures. So first up we have Poe Dameron. Get them over here. Who has quite good features, nice leg printing, cool gun and this shoulder bag thing which is I think it's quite new and they seem to be showing it off in a lot of sets now. He's also got two faces being angry face and happy face and a cool hairpiece which looks pretty cool and yeah. Then we have Zori Bliss who was originally when this first set, set first came out was an exclusive figure. She came with two guns, her helmet, cool printing, and yeah, just a black face, because no one knew if she was going to be revealed, which she sort of was in the movie, but just with the visor, so yeah, so they could have done eyes if they wanted, I guess. And next up we have Dio. This is the smallest set that Dio was in. The only other set he's in currently is the Millennium Falcon, which is quite pricey, <laughs> at least one home. And he's pretty cool, he's in the um, up to waist height on the other minifigures. Then we have the First Order Snowtrooper, who's okay. Got some printing down the back. Oh, we're going to cover it with cape though. That's how we go, does it? And normal angry clone face. The helmet's pretty good though. And then we have this blue astromech droid. Who looks okay. We didn't see him in the movie though, so <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> but one thing I reckon LEGO should do with these sort of droids, R2 units, is add the third leg so that it can stand up and look like it's moving. Yeah. Now let's see what the actual set is like. So here's the finished set. Overall it's quite a cool set. I quite like it at least. And from the back it looks pretty cool with the pink fluorescent pieces. And yeah. Um, some of the functions of this set are the basic ones like someone can go on there if they want. But we have to take out the guns, which I always find a pain, so I don't normally put them in there. This turret can rotate. Over there. And... You've got the landing gear over here. Which can fold up. Or down, depending on what you like. And... In this slot here, we can fit the astromech droid that we had. But it goes in sideways, so... I prefer to rotate the head so that it actually looks like it's still facing forward. And yeah. And it also has a few features, like spring-loaded missiles and a bombing feature, which is pretty cool. So I'll just show you guys the spring-loaded shooters first, which I'm sure you all know how, work, how they work. You just push down and it fires out. And the bombing feature is accessed by rotating the gear. I'll just do it off camera and you can watch them come out. They included three, but to get them all to fit on, I have to remove a piece so that they will fit without falling out. Overall, the greebling stuff on the set is really good as well. Like, there's lots of detail on there 
for such a small suit and the back's quite detailed as well and there were mm, a few stickers in here some of them were like yeah I guess you couldn't really do that with bricks but some of them were like uh, another sticker because <laughs> up the front here there were one two three four five six stickers being the red colouring, the red stripes and stuff, so it was like a, not the best, but still pretty good. Overall the set's really good, I recommend it. If you can find it on special, go for it, and yeah. I hope you enjoyed the review of the Resistance Y-Wing. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and go give me a follow on Instagram username in my description down below. See you on the next one.